previously on the NoVP channel. <laughs> and coming up. <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! Memories all alone and moonlight. Don't the words. Touch me! Na 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 I would rather you didn't do that for a few reasons. I was hoping for something a bit more appropriate to what we're shooting today. Uh, some cats. I was hoping for I ended up loving alcohol more than this pussy. <laughs> more than this pussy. <laughs> Not BB Rex's pussy. Pussy. I ended up loving alcohol more Boys than this is my <laughs> Puss my <laughs> home for pussy. <laughs> What's the next piece? No, we're on this for a while. What's happening in the water today? Yes, hello, yes, welcome to this video treat. <laughs> Your girls have got a high class function on Friday for which we're not gonna be in drag and I would like to maintain my beard. Also, it <laughs> seemed a bit unnecessary to shoot this video in drag. I don't know if we could really because we're gonna be wandering around the house with yes. Luther and I didn't want to show off my pussy. Pussy. <laughs> mine. Stop it! Have you been? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. A bit hungry at the moment. Yeah. <gasps> we should. What? Well, what is there? Um, I got some I cathedral. Jam Listen, let's kick things off. What we're gonna do today is talk about our new puss. If you've clicked on this video, you will know by the title and the thumbnail that we have recently adopted a new fairy friend <gasps> into a wheelie bin, Nevin Piamana. Yes. If you'd like his full title, it is, which is, it's Luther Magutha, the Marmalade Puss of Stage and Screen. And he has a jingle, and it goes, Luther Magutha, the Marmalade Puss of Stage, stage and Screen. That's we are title. yet to see any acting credentials. Will someone please save these people from themselves? But it's true, though. That's what we've been told. That's what he I don't, tells we'd, us. I'd like to know where he's been on the stage. I think he's a fucking liar. Um, but before we get into anything further, let's put in that, that really cute bit of me. Being adorable. What's all this about? What's all this about? <laughs> Let me explain this. Stop this. He has started to destroy the sofa, hasn't he? Yes, and we have put things about the place, but they're not really getting like a lot of use. We get to crack it. Show you a whole bunch of footage of Luther around the house shortly, but um, just for this nice little moment here, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Lead us nicely into the uh, sponsored segment of the video, which this week is thanks to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes, as well as career-focused classes for anyone who loves learning. Skillshare can help you make 2023 a year of new learning, growth, and connection through creativity. As well as new career possibilities in a way that connects to your learning journey. So you can learn freelance tips, you can start a side project to attract the right clients, or start a new business. Okay, so I'm currently taking a class. Um, the lady is called called Nama Yatha Mendelboim and she's very good at taking kind of like stuff from around your house that and she makes- the same as yours. I think it looks the same. She has a bunch of classes about how to take stuff from around your house and make like very cheap, like on a budget, like furniture or in this case, cat scratching pads. <gasps> anything just to calm him down. <laughs> I'm starting out with a basic one, but she does have a circular one as well, which I might work my way up to. But we'll see how this works. Maybe put some catnip on it, because apparently they go crazy for the cardboard. Oh. I mean, because of all the PO box stuff that we get sent, that's so hubristic, the amount of stuff we get sent on our much. Um, there's a lot of cardboard here that we can just like reuse. As if this isn't from our bread maker. Oh, this is from the bread maker. That's the most yuppie-ish thing in the world, isn't it, from the bread maker. What I like about Nama's classes are that she just doesn't beat around the bush. She's just like, oh wait, get some cardboard. This is how you're gonna do it. We're not gonna like dress it up anyway. And she's lined it out very, very easy to follow. Cause I need that. Cause sometimes I do struggle. She's using PVA, but she was like, whatever glue you got. And I think this, given how big he is, I'm gonna use hot glue. Cause I feel like this will be better. This is like the prototype and then we'll work from there. I get the idea now. Scratching, yeah? I get it. Here's the, scr here's the basic standard scratching pad. It looks really good. Thank you very much. You seems to like it. Yeah. Hey. 
So why not invest in yourself and your personal growth by signing up to Skillshare today? The first thousand of our viewers to join through our link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can achieve your new career goals this year. It's all down there, just have a little look and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Lisa, where are you? Hello. Would you like to say anything to your Doran fans? That was nice. That was nice. Anything else? So, um, yes, Luther's very, very loud. He will just scream at you. He likes to make sure his voice is heard. And I need to know that I'm being heard. So there's food and water upstairs. He also has a little bed, which he used quite a lot when we first got him. But now he just sleeps on our bed. And he also has a litter box upstairs with, um, these mats, by the way, are so great if you've got a cat as messy as ours. This is Luther's second litter box, which is downstairs, isn't it? Yes. He has two. Um, well, he has, actually has three, but he only uses those two. And then this is where most of his food and water is. I like that you're following us around for this tour, Luther. That's very nice. I'm absolutely shoving shit into my gob here. This is the food, <laughs> this is the food that he's on at the moment. I'm mixing these two things together just in case anyone's like curious. Aren't you just a bruiser? He's so big. If we rewind a little bit. More than this pussy. <laughs> if you don't manage to catch every single one of our videos or don't actively follow us on social media, you may have missed or may be wondering what happened to Bart. Um, we had a cat, a white cat called Bart for a couple of years, didn't we? Yeah, I, I think everyone knows that Bart passed away though, don't they? We've no, because people stage. have been commenting recently what happened to Bart in the last video we had comments. Well, he passed away from old. Yes. From old. Um, he passed away in November. From old. And it was very sad, but he, we did a couple of videos about Bart and he had a lot of health issues. He was very elderly, so it was always going to happen sooner than we wanted to. He was old and stinky. He was a lovely boy, though. He was that. So now we've got Bart in a little tiny shrine in our bedroom. We'll, yes. we'll put a little video in here. He's got his own little casket and a and nice little we're picture. So, we're so grateful with the, for the time that we got to spend with Bart. But after he passed, it was quite rough going, I'm not going to lie, for, for a few weeks. But almost like as a great distraction as well, we immediately started to focus on, okay, so we need to get another cat. I just dove into work. <laughs> I don't know why I'm tired. I haven't done anything. Now, Bart, Bartholomew, was very old and frail and wasn't really much for physical exercise at all. But Luther likes to run around and climb on things and zoom around the place. So he has this cat tree, which he bought from Wayfair, which he really likes. And sometimes when I'm streaming just there, he'll sleep in the hammock, which is very nice. And then he's got all these toys. But I would say his favorite toy is this lollipop which is just a lollipop, but he really likes it. I was like, we can't be <laughs> without a cat. And you said that you would, you would also I thought it would this. be adorable and sweet and stuff if I surprised Nova with a cat. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll start looking. Cause I feel like she would like to get a new cat, but feels like it's inappropriate to bring it up. Cause it's like not that long ago. So I was like, oh, well I'll just do some looking and save her the kind of aggro. And it's hard actually. Well, Finding. Adopting a cat is so difficult, unless you know someone who's given them away. Well, Going through like proper channels that's of, like the thing. charities, it's so next to impossible. You can find kittens anywhere, but it's always a bit like, what is the what are the origins? What are their store? Why are people breeding kittens and selling them? Like it's that's always a bit like it's magnificent. Hello. Bart was so high maintenance. He was on a lot of medication. There are a lot of like chips of the vets. And so we were quite used to accommodating an animal that needed like a lot of extra work and a lot of extra yep, care. Yeah, true so story. So we knew we wanted to adopt a cat that really, was a bit wonky. Needed, to be, really needed to be rescued. A bit wonky. Um, more than just like buying a cat because we want a cat. My sister, Rachel. <laughs> recommended that we look at um, an organization that she used to adopt her gorgeous cat, mm -hmm. as well as our friend Catherine has adopted two cats from this organization. She's called Cat. 
with a cat. And she has two cats. So we knew two people that had used this organization before and had great experiences with them. So we looked into, they're called Desert Paws. And I don't believe they have a website, but they have a Facebook page and they seem to conduct everything through their Facebook page. You know, I remember the first time I laid eyes on you. We're going to put all of the details in the description box below, but it's just nice to scroll through their page because it's just loads of pictures of adorable cats that all need homes. It's that one lady and she takes them off the street and she takes care of them. And you know who sold candles over Facebook? What? Dieter did that. She sold candles over Facebook. All of these cats um, are rescue cats from Dubai. A lot of people find that strange that we adopted a cat from Dubai. But if you aren't aware, Dubai have like no animal welfare laws. Like, yep. At all. No animal um, laws, no human welfare laws. The government in Dubai see stray animals as pests. They actually pay for people to just get rid of the pests. They see it as cleanup, so... Yep. It's actually illegal to feed stray animals in Dubai. And you can be fined or even jailed for like helping stray animals. You have to take them off the streets and keep them off the streets if you are going to help them. So this organization <sighs> tries to rehome these cats. Um, I don't know if they've got different international branches, but this Facebook page is specifically for the UK. Yes, yes. Please check it out if you are considering adopting a cat or you know someone that would like one because they put all of the information for all their various kittens up. And then we sort of gave a bit of information about us and how we live. <laughs> and then they kind of match you to someone they think maybe would be would yes. be good. So we found a few cats that we thought would be a good fit for us. And we spoke and we found um, a cat that seemed to be well suited to us. The Marmalapus. A oh, stage and screen. Yeah, please do have a look at the page because they are not legally allowed to accept donations. This is not a charity. They are not allowed to exist as a charity. The best way you can help is to just adopt some of these cats so they don't mm. have to pay to foster them. We've also... Um, installed a few additions into the living room for Luther. Um, he very much likes this platform and he very much likes this platform, but everything else he's still a bit weary of and a bit scared of. He won't use it and it really pisses me off because we built it. Right. <laughs> and he won't use the bastard thing. You can sometimes con him onto it with Wait, a laser pen. Laser? Here's the laser pen. Oh, he loses his shit for this, look. <laughs> he loves the laser pen. <laughs> Bye for them! It's like a remote control for a cat, it's so weird, isn't it? Those crackers taste like shit. So, we've been trying to get him to go up here with the laser pen, and he has gone onto the heart, the middle of the bridge. He's starting to really bugger that up. Yeah, so he is starting to scratch the sofa a little bit. Hence why I'm making those little cat scratching things. It's difficult to like, yeah, there we go. Now he sees that it's up here. This is painful. Oh, he can't see it there. Oh, <laughs> you little shit. It's saying I'm not a performing monkey. No, quick, look behind you. <gasps> look. Get on that bridge. I bought that bridge. <gasps> the, no. How ungrep, there's a hole in my sock. Do you know people are going to see your pants? Is that something that you're interested in showing off to the world? Is that really mine? But they're good pants. Let's see your ass. When we're sitting on the sofa watching TV, this is where Luther normally resides. We've got a bed here, and this is the blanket that Kay got us. And he'll just be in here, and then we'll put the blanket over him, and it's very lovely. And then sometimes he'll be in there, and he'll reach out his paw and like kind of like touch you for some attention on, on your back. Do you remember my old friend Sophie? She did some gay stuff with a girl called Kay once. <laughs> you got it on camera. A flump! You have to explain what a flump is. Well, that was a flump. It was when he literally just stops and then like slams his himself onto the ground. It that's when he wants he wants this. 
we were told that Luther was diabetic. And because we work from home and we can sort of give him a bit more attention, we were like, oh, we can handle that. Bart had every fucking yeah, problem going, didn't we were didn't quite he? keen. So Luther's former name when he was in foster care was Mango. And he had been in foster care for about a year. So he was in decent health now. He was rescued off the streets. And he had been diagnosed with diabetes, which meant that he needed a shot of insulin. I think it was originally twice a day and then it went down to once a day. So um, he had been up for adoption for quite a while because it was quite an undertaking, I think, for it's a most lot. people. People just don't want to have to he do it. He had to that. be on diabetic food. Um, it was quite a big undertaking. So yeah. we were like, we'll have that one. We'll have that we'll, one. We'll take him. We'll have that one. We can do that. <laughs> well, he rocks up and he's not diabetic. <laughs> So we had been liaising with our vets in the UK um, because they were quite concerned about getting him onto insulin because the insulin he was prescribed in Dubai would not be very easily found in the UK. So they'd have to change over. They wanted to do blood tests and all sorts on him. So our vet was a bit like on edge when we first took him. He arrived in the evening. He arrived in London. We ordered a taxi to take him to our house. And the vet was like very, very, intense reading all the notes really like oh my gosh this cat we have to make sure it's okay which i appreciated but made me really on edge <laughs> he was south african wasn't he i think he was yes and he was like where did you find this dismantling the whole you go. the whole cage <gasps> hello hello dear hi oh my gosh oh my gosh hi luther there's food hi, here there's food here Oh my gosh, straight away into the exploring. So the first thing they did was, after doing like a brief physical checkup, was take um, blood sugar, did a glucose test, and his glucose levels were perfect. And the vet said this would not happen with a diabetic cat that had not had insulin for this period of time. Can you possibly bring her back in the afternoon and we'll do another glucose test to mm. make sure? Because if he's, if he's gone another day, another like eight hours without insulin, we should start to see that. So we brought him back in the afternoon. Yeah. And it was just the same. It was the fucking same. So first of all, he lied about being a diabetic. <laughs> and now Nova, no, Charmaine calls him Gypsy Rose. So the vet said he doesn't look diabetic he seems very healthy there is a, such a thing as cats self-curing from diabetes that does happen so we don't know if that's what's happened here that that is absolutely a thing um if you treat it well with diet you you cats can cure themselves from diabetes but um the vet said assuming everything is okay and there are no further symptoms yes bring it back in a week and we'll do the same so we did that and he was still okay <laughs> okay Nobody just took five minutes to, to, to basically say that he doesn't have diabetes. No, I know. But if I don't explain this, we're going to get a whole stream of comments saying, oh my gosh, how can you be sure? You need to make blah, blah, blah. He doesn't. We bought diabetic food in bulk. She made me drive out to East Bumfuck Nowhere to pick up all these needles and all this diabetic food, which he didn't even need because he lied to us. Guys, it was all a lie. Love she lied. We took that to a charity though, so we, it's going to go somewhere. <laughs> Someone will ultimately use it. Ultimately, really good news because it means that Luther does not need to have insulin shots. He's a very healthy boy. Yes, he's been apparently. to the vets a couple of times since for some booster shots of various different things, and they're commenting on how healthy he is, how lovely he is. He's huge. He's I, enormous. Shall I go grab him? Oh my god! Come on then. Awesome. Oh, go on then. You can't. You're not gonna. Are you gonna get him? He's so big. He's very large. I don't think he likes Nova very much though. He tends to sleep next to me, and he puts his bum hole in Nova's face. So, Luther is very, um, what's the word? Susceptible to catnip. So it's very easy to get him into his um, case for the vets. You literally just spray catnip onto a blanket and put it in the cage, and he walks straight in. But um, for instance, if I just spray some here. It's really hard. <laughs> Are you silly boy? Are you silly boy? That's this catnip mist. One thing about marmalade Luther Magutha is that despite everything that we've tried, he doesn't like treats. 
we have tried to give him dreamies we've tried to give him um licky licks we've tried to give him the like stick treats that you get all different brands i've tried to give him like freeze-dried chicken nothing he does not like any treats so if you can think of like some obscure cat treat that he might be into i've tried so many different flavors um i will give it a go because i just feel I, I, obviously he doesn't want it he doesn't want it but i feel like i want to spoil him <laughs> he's settled in really nicely um we've had him for a couple of months now and he's absolutely the king of the house he's the leader of the pack and um runs the show isn't that right Lisa McGoose? he always demands that you go to him wherever he is in the house he doesn't understand that he could just find us you have to seek him out if he wants some strokes here we are then look at the size of him hello puss all right. Hello, Luther. Nice to meet you. Very, very big. <laughs> He's very soft and gentle and nice. So we're told Luther is estimated about four years old. He can't oh. come in here though because he will he will mess this up. So when we film, we do shove him in the bedroom. <laughs> He's a lovely, chunky boy. Oh, he's oh, flumped. Oh, he's flumped. <laughs> so there you have it. We have introduced the world to our brand new poos. Pussy. Pussy. It just is going to be all afternoon with this, isn't it? <laughs> we ended up with love and alcohol more than this pussy. Oh, anyway, yes, thanks for coming. Cheers. Oh, yes. We have extra special content available exclusively over on our Patron yeah, cult. Yeah, no nutty stuff, though. Making Live it sound dirty. No nutty. <laughs> no nutty stuff. No nutty. Making it sound dirty. No, we just said nutty. Yeah. How old are you? No nutties. You know, when I was 15, my dad got me a camcorder because I was going to take media studies and, like, make movies and stuff. And he took... And he gave it to me and he said, do not make porn with it. <laughs> I mean, it was good advice. It was sage advice and I didn't make any. Cut this out. Oh, the address for our Patreon is here. What you gonna do with all that ash? And we also have a Twitch where we oh, yeah. are gaming on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Like that. What did I just yeah, do then? Like that was that was great. <sighs> Some of the guys over on Patreon get birthday shoutouts, including Nova. But not limited. <laughs> For January 23rd and the 31st, Tom and Chris, respectively, they are a couple. Oh. Which, first of all, gross. Second of all, I'm, so, so, I'm sorry, Nova is really dropping the ball because she she forgot to mention you guys last time. Uh. Happy birthday, Tom and Chris. Happy birthday, we Tom adore Chris. you. Thank you for being with us. Also, February 1st and 2nd, it's Lindsay and Tortemis. Happy birthday, Lindsay and Tortemis. 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 Oh. February 3rd was Lily Prigel. Happy birthday. Prigel? Yep. Prigel. Just say the first name, might be easier. Lily. Lily. <laughs> there was a moment when I was just. Lily. February 4th, it was Paul's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Paul. February 7th, it was David Adams' birthday. Happy oh, birthday, David. Fuck. Happy birthday. And then for February 9th, it's Megan and Rakesh's birthday. So happy birthday happy to Happy birthday, both of Megan you. and Rakesh. We love you guys. Yes. Thanks for being with us. It's time to go now. Oh, that is oh, no. sad. All right. Nova and I are going to go and eat. Yeah, I'm going to cook that. We're not going to get take out I'm cooking no but I'm not I don't care about that I'm gonna eat something though right probably pussy no <laughs> and a marmalade puss to our brand new patrons Jedi Trousers Mediocre Ryan Stickham Stefan P Rosie Bush Dan Smith Oliver Lewis Matthew Nicole with an H Morgan Joshua James and Alec M and it goes Luther McGuther the marmalade puss of oh, stage yeah. and screen that we are title. yet to see any acting credentials Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.